Hello everyone, back to today's uh, first video update. So uh, we're going to have a look at the long range seasonal models for today's uh, first video update. We are doing the first autumn 2019 seasonal model roundup. We're getting 12 long range models together and we're going to see what they are all showing uh, for the autumn 2019 for only the first time. Of course, these um, seasonal model roundups, they uh, join together with the analogues updates that we are doing every Sunday through uh, the season through the summer, uh, or nearly every Sunday, um, they'll join up at the end with the analogs updates and season models. We'll bring them together, and then we will uh, release the Gas Office of Com uh, Autumn 2019 forecast. Uh, you'll find out next Sunday when we do the next analogs update. That's going to be the fifth analogs update next Sunday, week tomorrow. You'll find out the date when we're going to be releasing the Autumn uh, 2019 forecast. So, haven't been through models for this season uh, before. I'd be interested to see what they're all showing uh, for the autumn. And I'll get on with that for you very shortly. Just so it can be a busy day coming up here at Gas Office today. So, we've got the weekend forecast coming up. As always, on a Saturday, got your detailed uh, week ahead look at. And we'll also have a week 10 day uh, video update as well. That'll be up later on uh, this afternoon. Tomorrow, really, really big day. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. It's going to be quite a a long video as always with the long range uh, update so you can't watch it and go it will be placed on the autumn updates and forecast page with written summary going over everything that we discuss in the video and i'll get that up for you this evening right so i'm going to start off with the uh, brazilian model now this one doesn't stretch out to the full autumn period yet it only covers the period from august through to october so end of summer into middle of uh, middle of autumn, if you like. Uh, so um, it's 500 bit of our height anomaly, and this one does things a little bit different because blue is extrapolated to high pressure, and yellow, orange, and red extrapolated to low pressure. Now, normally on a typical 500 bit of our height anomaly, that's the reverse. So we may try to catch us out a little bit. Um, but anyway, for uh, this one, for August to September, we've got a quite a deep trough of low pressure. In the northern Atlantic, we've got a ridge here uh, through the central Atlantic. And so it looks very westerly, this. It's bringing the jet stream through la uh, rather like that. So it looks like a little bit of an Atlantic onslaught type uh, pattern, to be honest, for the end of the summer and into the earlier part of the autumn. Anyway, it does look unsettled. You can expect low pressure to be driving in from off the Atlantic. Quite, a, quite an unsettled um, chart to get us started. Uh, so we'll move on to the uh, next chart, which of course is going to be the uh, going to be the um, temperature anomaly that's flipped over. So that's rather no, it's not, that's okay. So it's August, September, October. That's right. So temperature anomalies from the Brazilian model uh, for um, end of summer into early and mid autumn, looking warmer than average, going for above average temperature uh, anomalies there. And if we go through to the precipitation anomaly. That's looking above average. So a mild but sort of wet end to summer and early autumn with westerlies dominating. The Atlantic is in control. And so we're looking at a relatively unsettled end to summer start to the autumn with the Brazilian model. We go north from Brazil to Canada uh, next. This is uh, CanSips from TropicalTidbits.com. Uh, and uh, this is mean sea level pressure anomalies for the autumn of uh, autumn 2019. Looking quite unsettled. Uh, we've got low pressure in the Atlantic. We do have some uh, high pressure, though, to our east. So that's a little bit of a battle. But I think overall, probably the western is probably the Atlantic that's uh, in control of that one, I would have thought. Moving on to the uh, temperature anomaly, if we can uh, get that going uh, next. So it's how the temperature anomaly is looking. And uh, overall, it's coming out a little bit above average with temperature anomalies for the UK and either most parts of Europe having quite a warm uh, autumn. By the way, all the other models from this point on, from Kansas onwards, will be covering the full autumn period. So overall, many parts of uh, the Northern Hemisphere are looking substantially warmer than average with Kansas. Um, we're a little bit above average, not uh, exceptionally so. And precipitation-wise, it's close to average again. So not a lot going on, not overly dramatic 
with can sips for this season. Close to average rainfall and uh, slightly warmer than average uh, temperature anomalies in what it looks like a rather westerly, but not dramatically so, sort of autumn. This is the uh, IRI uh, multi-model probability forecast for temperature for September, October, November, autumn 2019, uh, issued in uh, June 2019 for the UK and for Europe. This, of course, coming from International Research Institute for Climate and Society, Earth Institute, Columbia University. So probabilities are favouring average temperatures uh, really for the autumn of 2019 for the UK and Ireland. Northern Europe looks a little bit warmer than average. Some central parts of France will be a little bit warmer than average too. But overall not big deviations. Probability is favouring uh, average temperatures through this season. Uh, precipitation anomalies are looking like that. Now, it's a little bit interesting for Scandinavia because it does look as though the probability is favouring quite significantly uh, drier than average uh, probability. So, uh, kind of like in that bracket with the colours, that possibly implies a chance of a bit of Scandinavian high through this autumn. Of course, it's a, um, it's a uh, sort of evolving season, if you like. So, Scandinavian high and easy winds in September are going to be relatively warm, but Scandinavian highs. Easter winds in November will, of course, be a lot colder coming in off the cold continent. Uh, for us, well, the probability is favouring maybe ever so slightly above average precipitation, but only in sort of the 40% type um, bracket. So, to be honest, it's not um, favouring a particularly uh, wet autumn, but perhaps a little bit above average with precipitation. Uh, and in terms of temperature, just close to average. These are the analogues from uh, Patel Peng, uh, analogues forecast. So what Patel, uh, Patel is doing here is taking um, the sea surface temperature anomalies in any given month, in this case from May 2019, taking those sea surface temperature anomalies and then comparing them to past years that had similar sea surface temperature anomalies. And then from there, he's producing an analogues based forecast going forwards. So this is the 200 millibar height anomaly for the auto 2019 from Patel Peng going for above average height. So the Scandinavia, Scandinavian high is in control through this autumn and probably bringing in easterly winds. And again, over here, we will be expecting east winds. There's low pressure up towards uh, Greenland. There's some high pressure in the middle of the North Atlantic. But it does look probably that Scandinavian high that's in control with that. Temperature anomalies are coming out uh, substantially warmer than average with Patel Peng's analogs going for above average temperature anomalies, not just for the UK, but for any parts of Europe too. Bear in mind, it's a transitional season with a Scandinavian high in control. So early in the season, yes, it would likely be warmer than average, but later in the season, you would expect something rather colder on those easterly winds. Precipitation anomaly is again indicative of that Scandinavian high. So you see how dry much of Scandinavia forecast to be through this autumn for us in the uk again many of the places are coming out um rather drier than average it does look a little bit wetter than average down to our south telling us that we're probably seeing a jet stream uh being diverted a little bit uh to the south of the country so a drier but also quite warm uh, autumn, but with Scandinavian high in control, that was to last into November. Something cold would probably happen. Stick with another thing. Patel does work within, within the umbrella of uh, NOAA, but this is NOAA's official long range forecast model, CFS uh, V2, and this is the 700 millibar height anomaly for the autumn 2019 from the CFS V2. Not much to work with, as is often the case uh, with the CFS. So um, I don't think we can read. Really uh, deduce uh, much from that. So let's move on, have a look at the temperature anomaly. So that is coming out more than average in many parts of uh, Europe for this autumn. Out in the west, actually, we're one of the cooler places, Ireland, UK, uh, down to western France, Spain and Portugal. We're close to average, but most other places across Europe are coming out uh, rather above average with the temperature anomaly. That's looking a little bit unsettled. So uh, precipitation anomalies for the autumn 2019 uh, hinted at to be slightly wetter than average for the UK and for uh, some parts of uh, Norway as well and also for uh, Iceland over there. So this probably tells you, go back 700 of our height anomaly, 
which you're going to have just there. This probably is telling us that overall it's a relatively unsettled uh, sort of forecast from uh, the CFS V2. But again, very, very weak signals from CFS. Mean sea level pressure anomalies from the ECMWF seasonal model uh, next. So again, this is mean sea level pressure anomalies for the autumn of 2019, showing low pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. Otherwise, again, not much to work on. So probably a westerly flow becoming established through this autumn. As you would expect, generally in a, in an autumn across the uh, across the North Atlantic and uh, across the uh, north of Europe too, of course. Temperature anomalies for uh, from the ECMDF for the autumn 2019 generally close to or possibly slightly uh, above average. Precipitation anomalies uh, again average really to perhaps seem to get being a little bit above average, but it's not a big deviation. Going for very very sort of average temperature, average precipitation in a rather typically sort of increasingly zonal uh, type autumn, I suppose. Then we move through to uh, the models from the Copernicus uh, website, starting off with uh, Metro France. So this is mean silver pressure anomaly for the autumn of 2019 for Metro France. This one's a bit different. It's going for some northern blocking. It's going for high pressure uh, towards Greenland and Iceland. There's no particular area of low pressure, but you'll probably expect low pressure to be through there. Jet stream will probably be doing something like that. So overall, that could be a rather cooler and more unsettled signal for the autumn particularly compared to what uh, ECM was just showing. This is the temperature anomaly for the autumn of 2019 from Metro France. And uh, let's just get highlights working. And coming out close to average, not a big deviation again either way. Precipitation anomalies from Metro France look like that. So it's a bit driving average up to the north. That's where you've got the northern blocking, of course. Otherwise, very close to average with precipitation anomalies in this autumn. DWD uh, looks like this. It's a German model, uh, of course. This one perhaps goes a bit more to town with the cool and unsettled signal. So this has got a mid-Atlantic ridge uh, from the middle of the Atlantic going up towards Greenland. There's a trough of below average heights over Scandinavia. That will bring us into kind of like a north-northwesterly flow. It could be quite unsettled, especially for more northeastern parts of the country. Could bring early winter conditions through to Scandinavia uh, as well as that trough is sinking through Scandinavia temperature anomalies. Again, uh, quite indicative with this update, really. Uh, coming out close to average. And precipitation, whoops, precipitation anomalies, a little bit wetter than average. So a rather, perhaps a rather cool wet type autumn pattern being signaled uh, by the DWD. That's uh, mean sea level pressure anomalies from the CMCC, which of course is a Mediterranean uh, model seen uh, within the uh, Copernicus output. Again, very, very little to work on uh, with this. There's some above average heights in the middle of the Atlantic. Otherwise, not much to work with from a sea level pressure point of view. Temperature anomalies are also coming out very close to average through the autumn of 2019. Precipitation anomalies are also coming out very close to average with the CMCC through the autumn of 2019. We go over to Japan next. This is Jams Tech. And uh, this is the temperature anomaly from Jams Tech for the autumn of 2019. This one much warmer than average. Above average temperature anomalies of the UK for Ireland and for much of northern uh, Europe as well. So go for a very mild uh, autumn uh, indeed. Uh, the um, precipitation anomaly looks like that, drier than average. So it would hint at high pressure being in control through this autumn. The jet stream is pushed up to the north. So high, high pressure dominated, mainly dry and quite warm through the autumn uh, is a forecast from Jamstec. This is the Bayesian Climate Centre, penultimately, we're winding down towards the end now. This is a 500 millibar height anomaly for the autumn from uh, the Bayesian Climate Centre. Going for above average heights to be to ourselves, high pressure to be to the south. Low pressure is up to the north. And, of course, that's bringing westerlies through. So, for non parts of the country, perhaps quite unsettled. For southern parts of the country, much drier type uh, scenario. 
temperature anomalies from the Beijing Climate Center for the autumn are generally above average, above average temperature anomalies, not just for the UK and Ireland, but for many parts of Europe too. Um, precipitation anomalies look like that. So a bit of a north-south split, wetter than average for northern parts of the country, Scotland and Northern Ireland, drier than average for England and Wales. It's possibly a season that gets more unsettled as we go along. And then we go through, finally, to our very own uh, UK Met Office Glow C5 uh, model. So this is mean sea level pressure anomaly from Glow C5 for the autumn of 2019. Looking quite unsettled, possibly taking us back to where we started at, really, with the Brazilian model. We've got low pressure out to the northwest around Greenland and Iceland. Seemingly, some high pressure would be uh, down there. We'd be bringing the westerlies through uh, rather like that. So very much in line, I think, with what the Brazilian model was shown right at the very beginning. Temperature anomalies are forecast to be above average through this autumn. It's a warmer than average season being forecast by the UK Met. And it looks rather unsettled, particularly so for northern and western parts of the country, above average rainfall in the north, a little bit drier than average down in the south. <coughs> Excuse me. And that rounds up the first... Uh, autumn 2019 season model round. And what do we make of that? Well, I think what we can say is that there is generally a little bit of a signal for a rather unsettled autumn. I think that's coming through. There aren't all that many of those models that are indicating sort of high pressure keeping us dry through the autumn. So it doesn't look like it could be a rather changeable, rather unsettled autumn. Many of those models are going for kind of like average to above average temperature, a very little sign of a colder than average uh, season, which you wouldn't really expect with a westerly autumn. If you have a westerly autumn, you would expect in September, westerlies would be quite cool, I suppose, and unsettled. But by October and November, westerlies will be getting uh, milder. So the signal is for near normal temperatures or relatively mild, but quite unsettled, I think, between a lot of these uh, models. But it's very early days on that, of course. We've got two more of these seasonal model roundups too. There'll be one more at the end of July, and then the final one will be towards the end of August. And then, as I say, we'll bring these seasonal models together with the analogues, and we'll see if we can come up with a forecast for the autumn of 2019. All right, so that's it for the first autumn 2019 season model roundup. This video will be placed on the autumn updates broadcast page. We're written sorry going over everything that we discussed in video, and that'll, that'll be um, placed on that page uh, by this evening. Between now and then, we've got weekend forecast coming up, and also your week 10 day video update tomorrow. Really, really big day tomorrow. We're releasing the winter 2019 2020. NAO forecast. It's going to be released at 10 a.m. tomorrow. It's going to be a very, very interesting watch. We'll be doing a live stream on our YouTube channel at 5 o'clock in the evening. I'll be seeing if I can take some of your questions about that NAO forecast. Uh, perhaps see what you thought to it. Um, so that's going to be 5 o'clock on the Gaz of its YouTube channel. Subscribe to that channel if you haven't yet done so. And uh, you'll be able to have a listen and interact with that live stream 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Right then, so we're off and running for uh, this weekend's updates. We'll be back later on with weekend forecast. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.